Hold your head, Chuck, but uh, you put it out there on the internet, so I got to speak on it. That's what the people want. Clips! Exclusive, baby. The game reveals his best friend has died in a murder-suicide. Someone who was identified as a friend of AR suggested mental illness was to blame for the incident and that the victim was a woman AR was supposedly involved with romantically. The game is mourning the loss of his close friend AR, according to an Instagram post shared on Sunday, June 4th. AR was involved in a murder-suicide, as Game noted in the caption. He took his own life in the life of someone else. He wrote, I'm crying while I type this because I miss you so much. My emotions are all over the place because of the entire situation, and it's hard to feel the way a person should normally feel when losing a best friend, brother, due to the fact that you not only took your life, but you took someone else's life as well. I send a tremendous amount of prayers to her family, and my heart is with you all as you process the untimely death of your daughter, sister, niece, cousin, family member. In no way, shape, or form do I mean any disrespect at all or condone his actions in the matter. But I promise you, didn't know Avante, I did. The Avante I grew up with, fought with, cried, and stood back to back for 30 years with was a happy, comedic father who loved hard and would literally do anything for me, my children, or anyone he loved. The game also shed light on their uh, special friendship, which evidently stretched back to kindergarten. I waited a few days because the initial impact of hearing you were no longer here on earth simply crushed me. He began since kindergarten. It's been me and you side by side going through life together, standing up past our bedtimes, watching WWE, to walk into the corner store to get a soda and chips every time we mowed another lawn and made $1 a piece to growing up, smoking our first joint together, stealing cars, joining gangs, waiting on each other to get out of jail, selling dope, getting shot, and surviving it all so that we can learn how to rap from watching 106 and Park, travel the world, stand full pass for passports, meet feds, and see places we never imagined. It was always Chuck and AR. It hurts my, it hurts my hurt to know that all I have left is my memories and I've been drowning them with my tears this entire weekend. Game looked back fondly on AR's presence at the hospital when all of his children were born. He commended him for not missing a single birthday party. He added, I got shot and woke up from my coma. As soon as I was discharged, he was right there to take me home. I got stories, memories, and stuff I could share with you for days, but right now my tears are an ocean running down my face as I'm still in shock, disbelief, reputation over the situation. I'm hurt beyond belief. I'm going to miss you every day until I'm no more. I love you. My heart is with Miss Rose. Someone who identified as a friend of AR assured game how much he loved him. He also suggested mental illness was to blame for the incident and that the victim was a woman AR was possibly involved with romantically. He wrote, he loved you till his last day. Like all brothers, we go through our ups and downs, but in the end, the love is always the same and never lost. AR was your right-hand man, and all he knew was the life you and him created together. When he wasn't with you, he was not the same. We used to talk about what he had going on, and he would just vent to me about everything, and we would try to think of plans to do different hustles and gigs together, but the life he lived with you were the best times of his life, and just like you, Said he loved his niggas, game to death, and he mean it from the guts. My boy was a sucker for love and love hard, but I would never have thought of anything like this. Those of us who knew him never would have thought he was capable of something like this. But mental illness is a real issue and comes in different forms. My heart goes out to the victim and her family and the AR's mom who loved him dearly and to all his babies he left behind. May God bless all. May God and only God judge John 8-7. He that is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone. At, well, I was 13. My cousin was 15. At 15 years old, I had a cousin 
off himself and he didn't hurt the he didn't he didn't hurt the girl or nothing like that. She ended up leaving him and you didn't think you could find anything better. At 15, I know that's wild, like super wild, because bruh, I can't even remember any girl I was talking to at 15. But anyways, he offed himself, right? He put it around his neck and was in the bathroom and did it in a very violent way. And uh his grandma found him. And the reason why this correlates in a way is when somebody got a broken heart, bro, the best thing that I believe that we can do is keep our arms around those individuals, try to introduce them to other people, get them back. The world is filled with women. Now, I get it. There's a lot of stories and all this stuff, and we got the men's spears and all that and everything, but you can't give up. No sympathy for him. I'm sorry. I can't do it. You took somebody's life. I can have sympathy for you if you took your own life, but hell nah. You see, one of the things that we keep on doing when we talk about mental illnesses, we forget the victims. That shit don't fly here today. Damn, you got my number if you need to call me and pissed off at me and everything like that. I get it. I got no problem with that. But I'm sorry. I can't feel what you niggas is feeling. I can't. Now, if he would have took his own life, then I'll send, you know, thoughts and prayers and all that. But I send thoughts and prayers only to those affected and not to him. And when we say let he who's without sin cast the first stone and everything, 8 and 7 John, you forget you still got judgment day, but you still got your daily sins. Judgment say that man ain't going to no heaven. He going to hell. It is what it is. Got to deal with that one. So with no disrespect about mental illness, man, it's deeper than mental illness. This typically comes in a form of control because I'm pretty sure if we can resurrect her, she probably could talk about ass whoopings that he gave her. See, the thing is, is men like that, who ain't they selves, when they're not getting what they want, they tend to get detrimental. This had something way deeper than that. And I don't care how no nigga feel about it. Now, rest in peace to the dead. But I can't say that for the man who took her life. Because we forget about these women and these victims when this shit happens. All right, man, so y'all know we just hit a 1,000 subs. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us out, help us out. I'll catch y'all at the 10,000 sub mark. New video will drop in. New outro.